Okay guys, so as you just saw, I did this pour on this, um, this is going to be a clock. Um, hold on, you can see the overhead light is on because hello, shiny spot. There we go, that should be better. Okay, so um, while I like the way this turned out, we did the pour over the bottom of a small soda bottle. I love the pattern that happened in this sort of abstracted flower shape. It's a lot more pink than I thought it was gonna be. And I dragged a knitting needle through parts of it, which helped, but I think I wanna do something else. I might be totally messing it up. Um, but we'll see, hopefully not. Um, these are, this is a silicone, um, I don't know, paint pusher, shaper tool. It's called a shaper, color shaper. Um, I don't know who it's by. They have different shapes and sizes. This is a Betty Crocker dollar store silicone baster. <laughs> um, so we are going to just do some dragging. I don't think this one's going to do too much because I think it's too thin. Yeah, it's not doing too much, so. Let's do this one. I might be totally messing it up. Anything is possible. But I'm playing, and what's the worst that could happen? Okay, now we're gonna torch it. I also took my apron off, which is probably a really stupid thing to do. You can see how all the cells are popping up, even before the torching. I'm gonna put gloves on so I don't have to wash my hands again. Um, adding the pouring medium and Floetrol to the paint. Um, extends the drying time a lot. So you have time if you do a pour like this and you're not like completely sold and on it and happy on it or happy with it. You have time to play with it and get it to a point where you are happy. I see I'm already liking that better. I don't mind the pink but I just was thinking there would be a lot less of it. I will be playing with the soda bottle thing again because that was fun. I have a couple other um, different kind of household items that I want to play with also. In one little corner, there we go. That's better. That's more what I was searching for. I like this better, color-wise at least. And I like the pattern. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's much better. I want to pour off. That. Don't like that part. Okay. There's a reason my torch is covered in paint. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Because, uh, you know, I'm always grabbing it with wet gloves or wet hands. But that's much better. I like that better. So I'm going to link all of the deco art products that I used in the description below. Um, I love the Deco Art Pouring Medium. It's very affordable and works really well. You don't have to add Floetrol and silicone to it to get cells. I've gotten cells without doing either one of those. That being said, on this pour, I did add Floetrol and a drop of silicone to each one of the colors, but not. I didn't add any silicone to the white. Um, and yeah, I love this. All right, this is really cute. So uh, I'm gonna let this dry. It's gonna take like a week or more to dry and then clear coat it and put the clock back together. I'm kind of wanting to see if I, you know, can, I'm gonna have my husband 
um, help me putting it back together. Maybe we can do something interesting with the clock hands. I don't know. Um, but there will be a part two. We will um, film, it, film it and at least do a show and tell of the finished clock. Um, but yeah, this is much better. Now over the next couple of days, um, while the paint is drying, or at least the next 24 hours, um, I have found with the deco art pouring medium, even if the piece is um, level when it's wet, it does move around quite a bit um, uh, on its own without me forcing it. Um, it does so it does move around on its own so it's going to move and change um, over the next day or two um, so if I can at the end of the video I will put in some few still shots um, of it as it's drying um, it won't be completely dry for about a week but it'll be surface dry within 24 to 48 hours so I'll try to put some still shots in for you um, of that process so that's it a clock the clock um, piece the wood and all the parts that come with it are from Target. I'll link it in the description below. Um, it comes as a kit and you, it's meant to be painted on or collaged on. So um, it's in the crafting um, department. I will try to find it on their website and link it for you all. So anyway, fun little project. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support the free content here on the channel and over on YouTube, uh, over on Facebook and the Facebook groups if you can. Um, by shopping in my Etsy shop, using my PayPal tip jar, uh, I have a Patreon, I've got merchandise at Teespring and a number of other places. Click on the link tree li list of links in the description below and you'll find all of those things. Plus, if you can't or don't want to support me, that's fine. Uh, maybe you just want to follow me on social media. Those links are also in the link tree list of links. So go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos when they come out. The most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe make yourself a clock. That's it for now. Bye, guys.